Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy and uh, I am again here for you guys and uh, we are discussing here IIT J Advanced Paper 2. Today we are going to discuss this paper one by one section one first of all we are going to discuss and as we had discussed in paper one our purpose is not to solve the question but make it more educational and knowledgeful. So that is why I am discussing this paper keeping in the mind for those students who are going to prepare in the next year and uh, it will be better for them to understand the fundamental concept behind each and every question and so that they will be able to understand and solve the similar questions um, by their own effort. So let me start with this beginning the first section in this paper this is a section one in which there are seven questions and only one of these are correct four options are given but only one of them are correct each of them to be a bubble corresponding options for find uh, answer for full marks if correct response is there then plus three and minus one for incorrect response so we are going to discuss this and let us discuss this very first question here it is given that three randomly chosen non-negative integers x plus x y z are found to satisfy the equation x plus y plus z is equal to 10 then probability of z is even what is the probability that z is even so to answer such question i would like to tell you that first of all we have to do this uh, find this non-negative integral solution of this I hope every student must have learned this that non-negative integral solution of uh, if x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to xr is equal to n xr is equal to n then non-negative integral solution of this is given by what n plus 1 the non-negative integral solution non-negative integral solution integral solution of this age n minus 1 c r minus 1 non-negative integral solution and plus r also because this is a for positive integral solution and here there is called non-negative integral solution means there must be greater than or equal to 0. So the formula is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1. Here x plus y plus z is equal to 10 and therefore the total non-negative integral solution non-negative non-negative include x each xi is greater than or equal to 0 y is also greater than or equal to 0 and z is also greater than or equal to 0. This is the meaning of non-negative and positive integral solution means 0 will not take into be consideration. So non-negative integral solution, non-negative integral solution, integral solution of this age, what? 12, 10 plus 3 minus 1, so it will be 12. Just I have written it directly but let me write a step by step. So that will be 10 plus in place of r, r is the number of variables 1, 2, 3 and here till r. So how many variables are here? 1, 2, 3 only. So in place of r, I can put 3 only minus 1 c 3 minus 1 because r is 3. So here it will be 12 c 2 and that is 12 into 11 divided by 2. 2 6 are 12 so 11 into 6 is 66 so that will be 66 so total number of solution will be 66 total non-negative integral solution would be 66 <coughs> but our favorable case is that z is an even so that will be the favorable case where z is even here this is the total number of solution in which z can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 10. 
but we want our favorable cases are there that Z is an even number. So this is the total number of solution 66. So I can write here NS is equal to 66. NS is nothing else but 66. Total number of solutions are 66. Now for favorable cases, for favorable cases, favorable cases, I can say Z is even number. So let it is 2K. Say let Z is equal to 2K. Let Z is equal to 2K. I can write here. Let Z is equal to 2K for some integer K. Some integer positive integer K belong to Z positive integer. You know. So here K is some integer can be have the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 0 or more. So this is a 2K. Z is equal to 2K for some positive integral value. Now, if I put in this equation X plus Y plus 2K is equal to 10 and therefore X plus Y can have value 10 minus 2K. Right? Now, non-negative integral solution of this is to be calculated. That is K can have value 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like that. So now non-negative integral solution of x plus y is equal to what? We have to calculate this. Total number of non-negative integral solution of x plus y is equal to 10. Now the non-negative integral solution negative integral solution integral solution is given by 10 minus 2k plus 2 minus 1 c 2 minus 1 where k is varies from 0 1 2 to 10 so that will be but definitely 10 2 minus 1 is 1 10 plus 1 is 11 minus 2k c 1 that is 11 minus 2k. But k is varied from 1 to n. So therefore number of favorable solution will be obtained by putting k is equal to 0. When k is equal to 0 that will be 11. k is equal to 1. Then what will happen? 9, 7 and then what will come? 5 and then 3 and then 1. If k is equal to this can be k can be 0 to 5. K can have solutions 0 to 5 only because K cannot be negative. So it cannot be till 10 but K can be till 5 only because if you put K is equal to 6 then what will happen 6 to 12 11 minus 12 would be negative. So K can have value 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 only and I can put here K is equal to 1. 0, then 11, then 1, then 9, then 2, 2 to the 4, 11 minus 4, 7, then if I put k is equal to 3, 3 to the 6, 11 minus 6 is 5, if k is 4, then 4 to the 8, 11 minus 8 is 3, and if k is finally 5, then 5 to the 10, 11 minus 10 is 1. So this is the total number of solution. 11 plus 9 is 20, plus 7, 27, plus 5, 32, plus 3, 35, and 1, 36. So number of favorable cases are 36. Whereas total number of simple space, total number of uh, outcome in simple space are 66. So therefore probability of event H, you know, NF by NS, right? And what is that? 36 upon 66. 6, 6 yeah, 36 and 11 6 yeah, 66 so 6 by 11 would be answer so probability of an event would be 6 by 11 and therefore what would be answer option b is there 6 by 11 and that will be the answer of this question so this will be answer of this question 6 by 11 and therefore we can say answer is b so b will be the answer therefore answer is answer is B. Got it? Okay. Now, let us see the next question. The next question is, what is next question? 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट एस एच वन टू थ्री ए सेट इन विच एलिमेंट आर वन टू थ्री टू नाइन एंड के इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एन के विद नंबर ऑफ सबसेट ऑफ एस इच कंटेनिंग फाइव एलिमेंट्स आउट ऑफ विच एक्जैक्टली के आर ऑट आउट ऑफ विच एक्जैक्टली के आर ऑट वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट एन वन एन के डिनोट द नंबर ऑफ सबसेट ऑफ एस इच कंटेनिंग फाइव एलिमेंट्स आउट ऑफ विच के आर ऑट इट मीन्स हेयर वी कैन से एन वन सोल्यूशन कैन बी डिफाइन लाइक एन वन एज द नंबर ऑफ सबसेट द नंबर ऑफ सबसेट नंबर ऑफ सबसेट इन विच ओनली वन नंबर एज ऑड ओनली वन एज ऑड एंड रेस्ट फोर आर इवन एन टू मीन्स नंबर ऑफ सबसेट इन विच ओनली टू आर ऑड टू आर ऑड एंड रेस्ट थ्री आर इवन एन थ्री एज नंबर ऑफ सबसेट इन विच थ्री आर ऑड एंड रेस्ट आर इवन एंड सिमिलरली एन फोर एज वट नंबर ऑफ सबसेट इन विच नंबर ऑफ सबसेट इन विच फोर आर ऑड एंड रेस्ट आर इवन and n5 is number of subset in which all five are odd now let me describe this what will be the because 1 to 9 there are five numbers how many numbers five numbers numbers are five odd and one odd and two odd three eight odd four odd and five odd here total numbers are nine in which there are how many odd numbers Here odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine. So odd are five. Odd are one, three, five, seven, and nine. And even are two, four, six, eight. So only four are odd. Four are even, and five are odd numbers. It means n one will be given by One odd and remaining four are even. One odd. If I say one odd, it means four even. Two odd, it means three even. Three odd, it means two even. And four odd, it means one even. And five odd, it means zero even. Right now, all five are odd numbers. Right. So we can calculate this because out of five, nine item, basically we have to select five item. Out of nine item, basically we have to select five item, and there is all different type of combinations are there, right now. And zero odd cannot be because five even is not there. So out of nine, five are to be selected. Out of nine, five are to be selected. This is nothing else. All the five possible cases are there here. Out of nine, one if odd and four even, two odd or three even, three odd, two even, four odd, one even, five odd, zero even. That all possible because odd are five and even are four. So even we can consider the different cases of all these, but it will be better to go ahead and calculate it like that. That out of nine we have to select five. So total number of ways in which this can be possible is nine C five. Total number of ways, number of subset. Subset will be. Nine C five. That is nine into eight into seven into six divided by four into three into two into one. Nine C five is equal to nine C four. So four to ja eight, three to ja six, and nine to ja eighteen. Eighteen into seven is one twenty six, and that will be answer. Right now, that will be answer straight forward. Nothing to be think about this. But if you want to go with the alternate method, then what will be n one? If I am saying case first n one, then I can write here odd numbers. Odd are five even, and even are four, five and four, 
and n one is what the number of subset in which there is only exactly one odd. So one odd and four even. Two and two is two odd and three even. N three three odd and two even. N four is four odd and one even and n5 h 5 odd and 0 even and here again i need to write here and the wage is how much wage even using this method we can also calculate this odd even and wage of doing this so even uh, here 5 c1 h 5 and 4 c4 h 1 so 5 wage 5C2 is 10 and 4C3 is 4 so that will be 40 wedge and 5C3 that is 10 and 4C2 that is 6 so that is 60 wedge right. Similarly here out of 5 because 5 odd na 5 odd and 4 even so 5C4 is 5 and 4C1 is 4 that is 20 wedge and now 5C5 that is what one wage so it will be total 5 40, 60 plus 40 is 100 100 plus 5 105 plus 20 125 plus 1 126 so total number of wage will be that is n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n2 n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 plus n5 will be 126 so this way we can also solve it and but better way what we had discussed earlier that you need to understand like that that what we can do for this question now another question is there here is a question and uh, this question is function r to r is twice differentiable function such that if double dash x is greater than 0 for all x belong to r and here f of half is equal to half and f of 1 is equal to 1 so then what will happen using this is the question clearly here two value of function at half and one is given they are different so this is a question definitely a uh, mean value theorem lagrange mean value theorem this is a question of lagrange mean value theorem and what if does x can be written as between half and one we can consider the question that if does c is equal to f b that is 1 f a that is half upon b minus a this is what we have learned right now so that can be written as f dash c is equal to what f of 1 is f of 1 is what f of 1 is given 1 f of half is given half divided by 1 minus half so this is the same thing so I can write here f dash c is equal to 1, f dash c is equal to 1. Since f double dash x is greater than 0 and therefore I can write here since f double dash x is greater than 0 and therefore I need to write since f double dash x is greater than 0 and therefore f dash x is increasing function. increasing function right and therefore f dash c is also increasing function is increasing function isn't it so f dash c is equal to 1 and it is a increasing function f dash half is equal to f 1 is 1 and f dash c is increasing function so the value of f dash c would be must be greater than 1 it is increasing function na? so in 0 to 1 f dash 1 will be always greater than 1 it is increasing function and f dash least value is at 0 it is a f dash c is greater than 1 since it is increasing function so f dash c must be f dash c c is 1 na? so i can write here f dash c is equal to 1 and therefore f1 must be greater than 1 so this will be the answer 
and therefore option C would be the right answer. Option C is answer. Is answer of this question. Okay. So now uh, try to understand this question. Uh, this question is y is equal to y x satisfy the differential equation 8 root x 9 under root 9 plus root x dy and under root 4 plus under root 9 plus under root x to the power minus 1 dx x is greater than 0 and some conditions are also given when x is equal to 0 y is root 7 we have to find y of 256 that is f of 256 so y is equal to fx type something this is the equation y is equal to fx function of x this is the other way to represent this function and now we have to write here this is written that dy by dx if i put this dx this side this will be a differential equation dy by dx and this will come completely this side but this is a minus one power so it will also come in denominator so finally in denominator it will be both the function in denominator this both the functions will be in denominator so this function will be like solution dy by dx is equal to this 8 will come this side here this will be 1 upon 8 this 8 will be there root x will be there under root 9 plus under root x will be there and moreover this will be here under root 4 plus under root 9 plus under root x this is what given you can see that this is a repetition of the things here and if we need to integrate this because dx will come this side and we will integrate them so to integrate this i need to write here say if i would write here dx and this is a dx dx upon this and all these things are there so it will be better to write here if i assume this is inside the square root 9 plus root x if i take this complete thing as or this complete thing as y square then what will happen if i took this complete item inside the square root as y square then what will happen put 4 plus under root 9 plus under root x is equal to t square then derivative of 4 is 0 0 plus derivative of root is 1 upon 2 root 9 plus root x derivative of root x is 2 root x then again derivative of what g 9 that is 0 and derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x and this is dx is equal to 2t dt this will come i hope you got it right now so if i write like this then what will happen and we need to integrate because we have to find the value of y so we need to integrate them integrating both the sides so what will happen this will be the integration sign and this dx can be written this side as well because uh, it is not looks better that dx will be somewhere in between and function will be outside so i can write like this okay no no problem now what will happen here is this 2 and this 2 will be 4 and this 4 will multiply this side or even 2 will come this side it will be 8 2 into 2 into 2 that will be 1 by 8 root x this root x is there upon 1 by root x and what is left else under root 9 plus under root x under root 9 plus under root x dx is equal to t dt it means what we are looking for that is 8 8 is there root x root x is there under root 9 plus under root x everything is there so this will be also there and dx for all this expression we can write t dt we can write t dt so obviously if i can write this whole expression as t dt then integrand here integration of dy will be equal to what t dt 
divided by this is a t dt for all these expression and this is what under root t square so that will be t dt upon t dt cancel so what is left here you can observe integration of integral y is equal to what is left integral y is equal to y and integral dy is y and integral dt is t plus c but when t what is t here y is equal to under root what is t t is under root 4 plus 9 plus under root x this is what under root t so 4 plus 9 plus 4 plus under root 9 under root 9 plus under root x this is t and plus c but when x is equal to 0 then what will come 0 then a square root of 9 plus 0 a square root of 9 is 3 so 4 plus 3 is 7 and therefore is under root 7 so this will come 7 is equal to under root 7 y is already given under root 7 under root 7 is equal to under root 7 plus c this means c is equal to 0 and therefore y is equal to under root 4 plus under root 9 plus under root x that will come now if i put here that x is equal to 256 then a square root of 256 is 16 16 plus 9 is 25 a square root of 25 is 5 and 5 plus 4 is 9 and a square root of 9 is 3 so in that case if we put x is equal to 256 then y is equal to 3 will be answer so for this question answer would be 3 only so here is a 3 answer is 3 that will be the answer that will be the answer of this question so hopefully you haven't you got this how to deal with this now here how many 3 into 3 matrices of m such that 0 1 2 are there and for sum of all the diagonal entries of this sum of diagonal elements is called trace of matrix now 3 into 3 matrix so we can write here solution let m be a matrix of elements a b c p q r l m n right so what will be m transpose m transpose will be therefore m transpose will be a b c p q r l m n right now m transpose into m is equal to what will happen a b c p q r l m n into what will be that m m h nothing else but a b c p q r l m n right now if we multiply these two then what will come if we multiply these two then in that diagonal elements will come first row first column what will be that a multiply by a that is a square p multiply by p p a square and l multiply by l l a square so first a 1 1 will come a square plus p a square plus l a square second row something will come here something will come in there also here also we are interested in diagonal elements only so we need to multiply diagonal elements it means second row second column in that case what will be the sum second row second column b multiply by b b square q multiply by q q square and m multiply by m m square so that will be b square plus q square plus m square and here will be the third element now two elements more would be here and third element will be there that can be obtained by multiplying third row third column third row and third column correspondingly so what will happen 
C multiplied by C, C square plus R square plus N square. That is C square, R square, N square. So, sum of all diagonal elements that is called trace of matrix is given here 5 in this question. So, according to question, A square plus T square plus L square plus B square plus Q square plus M square plus C square plus R square plus N square is equal to 5. That is possible if and only if the two cases are there. Case first. When out of this 9 entries, 5 of them are 1 and remaining 4 are 0. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and remaining 4 are 0, 0, 0, 0. So, the number of way in which they can be arranged will be number of ways in which it can be arranged 9 factorial divided by 5 of them are similar. So, 5 factorial and 4 of them are similar. So, 4 factorial. So, 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial that will be cancelled out by 5 factorial. Right? And here 5 factorial into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, 5 factorial, 5 factorial cancel. 4 to ja 8 that is cancel. 3 to ja 6 that is cancel. 9 7 ja 62, 63 and 2. 63 multiply by 2 is 126. So, the number of ways in which it can be made is 126. Case 2. What will be that case 2? That 1 of them is 2. So, 2 a square will be what? 4. And remaining 1 of them is 1 a square. That is 1. So, it will be also 5. So, in that case, the elements are 2, 1. 2 of them are, 1 of them is 2. Other of them is 1. And remaining 7 are 0. 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 9 digit will be there. And number of which of doing this will be 9 factorial divided by 7 factorial because 7 of them are identical. 9 into 8 into 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial. These two will be cancels out. And therefore, total number of selection would be, therefore, total number of selection, total number of wage in which it, this can be done is 9 into 8, 72. So, 126 plus 72, 6 plus 2 is 8, 7 plus 2 is 9 and 1. So, 198 would be answer. And therefore, what would be answer? Answer of this question will be 198 and therefore, A option will be answer. In that case, option A will be answer of this. So, I hope you got it, this also nicely. Okay. Now, the next question is, let O be the origin and let PQR be an arbitrary triangle. The point AC is such that OP, OQ, OR, OS, OR, OP, all these are given. PQR be an arbitrary triangle and O be an origin. It is given. So, we can write here, since O be an origin, and P, Q, R be any triangle, O can be anywhere, right? This is what? And I can write here, this is as O. O is somewhere in between. O is somewhere in between, say, O. This is P, Q, and this is R. Now, O is origin. So, O, P is directed as this vector would be like Position vector of this would be OP. OP will be the position vector of this P. OP is position vector of P. Right? Similarly, position vector of R is say OR. And position vector of position vector of this Q is say Q. In that case, these are the position vectors of PQR and let 
this can be represented like P, Q and R. Say this is a small p, this is a q, a small q and this is a small r. So OP is equal to what? I can say if I need to write OP, OP is equal to what? P. So therefore OP is equal to vector OP is equal to vector P, OQ is equal to vector Q and OR is equal to vector R. Right? So I need to write this and say something S. The point S is such that any point is S. So OS is equal to similarly we can say vector S. Right? OS is S. Now it is given like, like this. So here the given expression will come like OP that is P dot Q plus R dot S is equal to r dot p plus q dot s is equal to q dot r plus p dot s. Now these are the three expressions. We can have these three expressions. Right. So using first and two, using first and second, we get pq p dot q plus r dot s r dot s p dot q r dot s minus q dot s and r dot p minus r dot p is equal to 0. If I would take p common from this two then what will happen? If I would take p common then that will be p minus q minus r, q minus r vector and if I would take s common minus s common then what will be that? q minus r and that will be 0. I have taken p common from this two, p is being taken common from this two and correspondingly s is being common taken common from this two minus s. So that will be minus Q minus R. Right. Now Q minus R here also and there also. So I can take common Q minus R. So if Q minus R I would take common. Then what will happen? This is P minus S. This is the dot product basically. So what will left Q minus if I R would be taken common. Then that will be P minus S is equal to 0. And that means Q minus R is what? Nothing else but OQ minus OR. That is RQ. That is RQ. RQ. Q minus R and P minus S. So that will be that is RQ. Q minus R. Q minus R. That is QR. QR. Q R dot S P is equal to 0. So Q R this employee Q R is perpendicular to S P. S is any point and Q R is perpendicular to S P. Q R is perpendicular to S P. Similarly if I would take the second and third even using second and third second and third what will get? Using second and third we will get this second and third then q r dot p q dot s r dot p plus q dot s is equal to r dot p and q dot s is equal to q dot r and p dot s q dot r q dot r plus p dot s. Similarly if I would write here and take an r common then it will be p minus q dot if I would take r common and here p minus q and s r minus s is equal to 0. Right. So that will be again what is that q p is perpendicular to 
what is that sr so these are perpendiculars and similarly from first and third other can be also perpendicular because each of them are perpendicular then what will happen s h s p s r q p is that then what will be that s s is the point of ortho center because they are perpendicular here all of them are perpendicular q r is perpendicular to s right and this is a perpendicular altitudes meets at a point that point is called ortho center here because sr and qp is perpendicular and similarly here also sp is perpendicular to qr so all these points are perpendicular to s and therefore sides are qr is side side is perpendicular to a point so perpendicular by sector of sides or of where all altitudes are meets that is called ortho center so therefore since all these perpendicular meet at a point since all altitudes altitudes meets at s and therefore therefore s is ortho center s is ortho center so what will be the answer in that case answer will be b b will be answer in that case answer will be b b is the answer all all this b will be answer okay now let us discuss this question and what is this question equation of plane passing through this and perpendicular to the planes which direction cosines are already given so equation the shortcut idea and this is i think simplest question in the segment solution will be like this the equation of plane equation of plane is given by plane is given by x minus x1 y minus y1 and z minus z1 and here a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 is equal to what is equal to 0 this is what this is what the equation of line equation of plane passing through a line passing through a point x1 y1 z1 and perpendicular to the lines whose direction cosines are given like whose direction cosines are given as a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 so this is a what a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 so that will be the equation of plane right this is the equation of plane a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 and c2 that is equal to 0 so that can be calculated like here so this employee what is x1 y1 z1 here x1 y1 z1 is given by here x1 y1 z1 is given as this is what x1 and this is what uh, i can write x minus x1 so using the same thing we can write here x minus x1 x1 is 1 1 1 so x minus 1 y minus 1 z minus 1 what is abc 2 1 and minus 2 2 1 and minus 2 and what is this 3 6 and minus 2 3 minus 6 and minus 2 so that will be equal to 0 solving this as a determinant we will get here that x minus 1 this employee x minus 1 this cancel this cancel so this is minus 2 minus 12 minus 2 minus 12 right minus 2 minus 12 then again this is minus y minus 1 y minus 1 right y minus 1 so keeping this in mind y minus 1 sorry just wait a minute y minus 1 will be what 
this cancel this cancel so that will be minus 4 plus 6 minus 4 plus 6 minus 4 plus 6 minus of minus 6 that is plus 6 plus z minus 1 into this cancel this cancel so minus 12 minus 3 minus 12 minus 3 is equal to 0 so that will be minus 14 x plus 14 and this is 2 minus 2y plus 2 and this will be minus 15 z plus 15 is equal to 0 and now you may solve it right and you will be able to get it what will come so that can be written as further minus 14 x or suppose all these come with this opposite side all this come will opposite side so 14 x this will come this side 14 x plus 2 y plus 15 z and this is 14 plus 2 16 plus 15 31 so is equal to 31 or minus 31 31 will be this side and remaining will be that side so in that case answer will be what will come 14x plus 2y plus 15z 14x plus 2y plus 15z will be answer of this question and so you see the options which one is answer 14x plus 2y plus 15z is equal to 31 14x plus 2y plus 15z plus 31 so option a will be the answer here option a is answer so you can write so this is the simplest question and i think every student has done this uh, intelligently and nobody has problem with this the shortcut idea is that satisfy those which is 111 that can be answered the shortcut idea is put 111 because plane is passing through 111 so it must satisfy the equation so keeping this 14 to 16 15 31 that will satisfy here 15 to 16 minus 15 is one that also satisfy and 14 plus 15. so all of them are satisfying so that will not work but what the other idea is take this direction ratio of 2 1 and minus 2 and product of this 2 will be equal to 0 because a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 so that will differentiate orally and you will be able to analyze this 14 to 28 plus 2 30 minus 30 0 and therefore a will be the right answer so orally we can do that right now i have just explained this idea because a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 must be equal to 0 and therefore uh, this is the solution of uh, this equation so hopefully you will be able to do this next time whenever such question will come right now and uh, there is no problem i think so and if there is any problem do write to us at our mail id www.arvindsingh.com or uh, mail id is arvindsingacademy at the rate of gmail.com keep watching thanks god bless you all the best.